PC Crash 9.1 has some user interface enhancements that I enjoy. I'm going to show you here that uh, this particular uh, simulation isn't centered on 0, 0. You can see, look in the bottom left, it's like 75 minus 40. And yet, if I import a custom vehicle, or any vehicle for that matter, I'm going to do a tree in this case, it loads a vehicle in on screen rather than back at the origin. So that's handy. Just going to move the vehicle off the road, put it on that island there. Now, if uh, sometimes you have a problem where you're uh, modifying a vehicle and there's some kind of a cascading calculation, you get a pop up coming up all the time asking if you want to do that calculation or not. So, for example, I change the CG height of a vehicle, that'll affect how the uh, optimal uh, brake force distribution is calculated. Now, this sort of dialog has a, uh, a default uh, position that you can assign. So, if I say do not ask me this again, then whatever I choose here will be applied for the duration that I have the program open. So, if I say yes, I do not, uh, yes, I do want you to calculate the brake force distribution. And when I do that, I look at that brake force curve. It's kind of funny for a tree. But if I change that CG height again and check, hey, it's recalculated it. Where that is really handy is in multi-body settings, where if you're changing those properties, you can have that recalculate box come up a lot. Now, another uh, notification related enhancement is uh, that pop-ups uh, come up now instead of just uh, status bar notifications. So if I go back to my vehicle settings, if I messed up oh, my suspension settings, oh, you can see that it's got a little pop-up window comes up here, which uh, for me, when I work with my, uh, with my volume off most of the time, uh, it's kind of nice to see a visual notification rather than just something flashing in the status bar. Okay, but uh, some of the bigger changes are this uh, new uh, toolbar here, where you can toggle some of the display settings uh, directly from the toolbar. So, for example, we can turn the bitmap on and off, turn the DXF drawing on and off, and we can turn the 3D vehicles on and off, or the, the uh, direct X, or the DXF vehicle shapes is what we normally call them. Then these next uh, buttons here uh, relate to showing the vehicle in custom positions. So I've just got to simulate my crash here. And go backwards as well. There we go lock my simulation. So let's say that I'm going to turn my bitmap back on, maybe turn the DXF off. Now previously we could just show vehicle positions in the current position and an impact and maybe at a given branch points. But now let's say I want to show the vehicle positions when this car here, blue car, is crossing the stop line. I just hit Add Current Position to Display List. And then I can move forward, let's say, to the point where red car is crossing the stop line. Add. And then maybe I'll just put them at impact. Add that one. Now it's going to have all three of those positions in the display. I can edit that list, and let's say it's a little busy here and I don't want to show where the blue car is crossing the, is when the red car crosses the stop line. I can just uncheck any values I don't want to show there. I can label them. I can say red crosses, and I can say impact, and say blue crosses. Then those labels are applied on the screen uh, by each vehicle. 
If I look in the 3D view, those positions are also shown in 3D. And if I toggle my vehicle shapes, then you can see that my uh, complex vehicles are also shown in the 3D view. And I can move around to each of those positions as well. So that display list lets you generate uh, 2D or 3D images uh, with the vehicles in custom positions, either one or all of vehicles at a given time.